Today we're testing the American Gunner by Hornady, the 124 Plus P XTP. So I've gotten some requests to do it out of a P07 and also a smaller barrel and I'm going to use the PPS. It does have a chamber step but standard rifling but it should help velocity kind of like how it does in the P99. The P07 has standard rifling. It's not like a Glock barrel where it's going to have a little bit of assistance and velocity. Uh, so we're going to see really how it performs. With the P07 I'm going to start off with the P07 in my winter protocol and this is going to be three shots and then we're going to deliver three shots out of my uh, uh, summer protocol with the PPS. Now granted that's just going to be one layer of t-shirt but we're going to go ahead and see how it works. So let's go ahead and start off with the PO7. Alright so I forgot to start the camera during my shot so sorry I couldn't do that little presentation and this ballistics gel is really ugly because I didn't get all the uh, clothing material out when I was remelting but these are two 12 inch blocks so we have some interesting results. This is the sh third shot. This is the uh, first shot and then this is the second shot so as you can see we have our channel 12 inches and this one went uh, about halfway so this is about uh, six inches right here a little bit more maybe maybe an inch more so we had about uh, uh, seven inches here so about 19 inches 18 19 inches and then about 20 inches here and this almost went all the way through so this was about 23 inches now it did go down a little bit so there it is but as you can see all of them expanded and you can see there the expansion was pretty good they didn't turn that much the second shot did turn a bit but this one stayed on course as you can see the wound track goes a good amount now really this isn't going to do anything to your muscle tissue and we want to keep in mind that the FBI standards are really based on just getting to the vital organs and they want to stay there they don't want to risk over penetration and uh, they don't really want to set a standard that could uh, kind of risk that that's really actually not a concern because here's the thing that's based on actually hitting the vital organs and having control over it which is fine but these rounds are not qualifying for the FBI which is really politically driven so you got to keep in mind that really this is the distance that they're trying to calculate for consistency to kind of beat the silver tip and you know reach the vital organs reliably so this would definitely reach the vital organs reliably even through winter and this is out of a 3.8 3.9 inch barrel so we're doing pretty good here so let's go ahead and use this half of the block and we'll test the PPS okay now three rounds with the PPS one layer of t-shirt summer carry so typically you're gonna carry smaller so let's go ahead and test it out and I have a t-shirt in back here this is just going to be one layer so if it does over penetrate we're going to see how bad it over penetrates i think 24 inches would definitely be a good consideration for over penetration but you got to keep in mind that skin even the fbi and the iwba uh, uh, classify skin as having about the density of four inches of ballistics gel if it does over penetrate we got to kind of keep in mind that four inches does kind of uh, represent skin it would need that kind of force so just keep that in mind and let's go ahead and start testing. Okay, as you can see here, these are the PPS shots and none of the rounds actually touched. I had to kind of move uh, over here because I didn't want to uh, risk hitting uh, the wound track because it did kind of go down a little bit. So, as you can see here, this is the, this is the first shot right here and it did tumble at the end there it kind of turned around and it was basically right behind the first shot of the p07 so everything expanded everything expanded very beautifully and if you can see that that's basically textbook expansion right there out of the uh out of the third shot and that did great uh get close to the bottom but it didn't graze it like like this round did so a very good result so what you're seeing here is about 13 almost about 13 and a half 14 inches out of these two shots and then here it went about four inches so we're looking at about 16 inches so those of you that like to stick within the FBI specifications it actually does pretty well now unfortunately I'm not gonna 
uh, be testing this in heavy clothing out of the PPS, but I would assume you're going to get relatively the same result as the PO7, probably a little bit more shallow, but really the PPS is a good summer carry gun, and I don't see the XTP really having a problem overcoming the uh, the clothing because the XTP is a very good hunting round. They've had a lot of uh, time to perfect this, and with the 124 plus P, you're really not getting much recoil. It is a very good carry round, in my opinion, just from seeing what I'm seeing here. And you gotta really take into account that I was hitting, uh, basically, right here. So this is a pretty thick part here. And then it went through two layers of shirt. So that's a pretty good winter simulation. A lot of people may, uh, some people may be uh, wearing only two layers under their heavy garment. This is kind of a Carhartt knockoff. Pretty thick material. So. I'm really impressed with the uh, 124 grain uh, XTP. The American Gunner seems to be performing very well. So I hope this was helpful and I hope this was realistic enough for you. And I'm not really concerned about the penetration. Everything expanded and it's really not far off from the 18 inch specifications a lot of you uh, set out for yourself. So really, I hope this was uh, helpful for you and you guys have a good one now before I go I would just want to show you guys the uh, expansion of this because I know a lot of people are pretty interested in what happened so I got it out of the gel and this is in order from the first to the last uh, shots so we have the three PO7 ones right here so first shot second shot third shot now this third shot did uh, get near the bottom and the expansion was not that great pardon me so the expansion was not that great on it, but that's pretty much why it penetrated the way it did. So I do like deep penetration. I like to make sure that it's going to reach the vital organs. But as you can see, the XTP did not have any problems with expanding. And you can really tell by how well the lead was pushed to the side and really smushed. So if you're going to have a problem, it would only peel a couple petals and it would partially, uh, you know, crush. But... You, you know you didn't have a problem with that so very good results out of the po7 so and i imagine it's going to do better out of longer barrels it, it may get less penetration because it may expand a little bit more kind of like this and stay within the uh, good realm of penetration for a lot of people so very interesting so this is the first shot with the pps and the second shot and third so as you can see they actually expanded uh, pretty good because realistically it only had a uh, one layer of cotton t-shirt so it of course it expanded more and it so it didn't penetrate as much so the velocity was not really uh, that big of a, a deal out of the PPS and I think a lot of that is credited toward can be credited towards the chamber step now out of a three inch barrel I think I would get relatively the same result because a lot of times like uh, uh, shooting the bull he did uh, interesting tests on this stuff and uh, really he had a lot of over penetration issues but I think it was because he was going towards the FBI standard basically trying to uh, come up with a standard like these like their standard we got to think about it realistically uh, if you're going to be testing it towards the FBI spec you're basically treating it like it's trying to qualify for the FBI and if you're you're basically saying oh well the FBI is now going to be issued three inch uh, barreled pistols so we got to test it for that and come up uh, or keep it within specifications so it's not really realistic to us because we have to kind of adapt and uh, kind of cater it to our own circumstances now of course the protocol for four layers of denim is fine but uh, realistically I think I can come up with something that can be uh, just as challenging such as you know t-shirts and a Carhartt which a lot of people would say is a good thing because the uh, uh, New York police had an issue with their 124 plus P gold dots. Now, I think that was uh, kind of an interesting thing, and it may have been uh, wrongly examined by the department. But, you know, regardless, uh, I may do testing in the future on that. But really, I got pretty good results, I think, out of uh, these pistols with this round. I'm very impressed with its consistency, actually. So, you know, go ahead and put in the comments below what you guys think, but... I call this round a winner, so congratulations Hornady, you made a winner.